What's the most NSFW experience you witnessed right in front of your eyes? I lived in Vegas and took some friends of my brother-in-law, whom I had never met to my warehouse at the Speedway. One guy hit a joint one time and went into an instant manic episode like I didn't know was possible. He instantly pulled his pants and underwear off, pounded his underwear into my chest saying, I want you to have these and keep them forever. Then proceeded to try to push over pallet racks. He turned blood red and was sweating profusely so we gave him a bottle of water. He poured it over his head and then began to swim but naked down the aisle. This went on for about an hour before the cops slash paramedics showed up. One of the weirdest things about it was his identical twin brother was there standing next to him the whole time saying, he does this sometimes, but I've never seen him naked before. There are so many more bizarre details. It felt like a bad trip. A co-worker, just before quitting, took a shit in their cubicle. They wanted to have him charged with indecent exposure, but since no one saw him, besides me, and I wasn't admitting to having seen it, they dropped it. They also tried to use the defecating in public laws, but the police pointed out that their office was in fact private, not a public space. The man became a legend around the office. I went to Rainbow Gathering a few years ago. There were various camps with their own themes. Some places made coffee, some were art camps. There was one bread of life, a Christian kitchen, and just around the bend was the Lotus Temple. There were a bunch of crust punks that were into putting on quite a show. I was walking through all the camps and heard some folk slash bluegrass music playing. It caught my attention, so I decided to check it out. Oh man, wish I hadn't. They had a guy in the mud getting spit roasted by two girls with strap-ons, while a full band was playing wagon wheel in front of full audience. I almost forgot about that. Going back to my apartment after college classes ended. Homeless people effing right outside my apartment complex by a tree. I try not to make eye contact. Hey, you want to join? Uh, no thanks. Have a good night. How considerate of them. My faith in humanity is restored. I wasn't there for this, but my co-workers were at a lunch and a woman pulled out her boob and squirted milk at a very high-ranking employee across the table. Ah uh, yes, the forbidden christening. I've been on the receiving end of this treat as a paramedic transporting a naked woman, high on crack, that would not stop pleasuring. Walked in on two co-workers having an affair. He later cornered me and threatened me. She is my brother-in-law's best friend's wife, and I've known him a lot longer than she has. I reported it, mainly the threat, to HR and talked to my sister about it to see if she and her husband wanted to talk to him about it. I got written up by the VP and the conduct team of where I work because I told my sister about it. Allegedly, I put the woman at risk because, and I quote conduct, her husband is most likely going to beat her over this. I've known him for over 30 years. He doesn't have a violent bone in his body, and if he showed any signs, he wouldn't still be good friends with my sister and her husband. A few years later, did he ever beat her? Nope. Did they go to counseling? Yes, in a club in Berlin, Germany. It was quite sex positive. A woman in her 30s sat down next to me on a weird chair and we started chatting. At some point during the conversation, a man kneeled down in front of her and started to fist her, consensually. She didn't break eye contact. She didn't even flinch. She just continued the conversation like normal. I had no idea how to deal with that and didn't want to be rude, so we continued the conversation and I tried to ignore the man who had half his arm in her spot. Driving Uber, I caught a dude jogging off in my car. Turned around and he had his D in one hand and his phone in the other hand recording it. It kind of stunned me at how bold he was. I kicked him out and still charged him for the entire ride. This was one of the reasons I bought a dual facing dash cam. A girl blowing a guy at a bus stop at like 2 a.m. She then threw up and continued sucking his D. Never change, Glasgow. Worked at an aluminum plant. One of the mills was down for a few days. I went to the pulpit to sleep and chill since I didn't have shit to do. Walk in and two of my co-workers, both men, both very much married, banging away. I just turned around and left. The rest of the time I worked with them was awkward for sure. I was in a train compartment sitting by a window. It was broad daylight. 
There were two young students, boy and a girl. Suddenly the girl opened the guy's fly and started to jog him off. I did not know how to react, as nothing like that happened to me before, also they blocked my way to the corridor. They did not even close the curtains, so the conductor girl passing by saw them too, and apparently did not know how to react as well. Then they got off on the very next stop. I think they did not have a ticket. I worked the night shift and had just returned home around 4.30 am and went to check the mail. My girlfriend and I round the corner and see a girl bent over on top of a car getting railed by a guy. We immediately turn around and walk to my door, but then have second thoughts to turn around and check if she's okay and not being attacked or anything. Turns out she is a co-worker and she was definitely very okay with what was going on. Driving on an interstate highway about 75 miles per hour when I see the car in the left lane start to drive a little erratically. As I passed the car on the right, I saw what looked like the male passenger finger banging the woman driving, who looked like she was having an orgasm. I quickly got away from them to avoid an accident. Watched a grown man pull a mobile phone out of his arse. It's for you. I was on holiday with my wife in the Canary Islands. We were on the beach all day and we made the mistake of taking a shortcut through the sand dunes. It was a hot, sweaty and tiring walk and surprisingly long walk. Then we wandered into a corn chute. Two lithe young ladies getting it on. Full triple X rated content. Nobody batted an eyelid except to motion us around the back of the camera to keep us out of view. So we just kept on walking to the hotels. Very, very surreal. I saw a huge guy, maybe six feet four inches, used to be a football player, doing naked cartwheels down a hallway. Once he paused mid handstand to press his junk against a window. Then he started swinging on people and screaming, I'm gonna R word ya. I'm gonna F the milkers so hard. So he got restrained and immediately popped a boner and started thrusting in the air while hollering, I'm gonna crack on the ceiling. Shoot it to the moon. I don't know if that counts, though, since it was technically at work. Right. This can't be happening. Right in? My gym is on the second floor and has big windows facing the parking lot. One day I was standing at the window catching my breath and happened to look down. There, in one of the parked cars, were two of the other members completely naked and going to town. The woman's face wasn't visible but she had a distinctive tattoo so I immediately knew who they were. On the plus side, working out was really paying off for them as they both looked quite fit. Early in my career, I worked in a research facility. One of the guys who worked for me was job adjacent to the maintenance guys. He was a machinist. So he had access to parts of the building that weren't available to most. We were up in the penthouse, which was a big room with all the HVAC and stuff, but also where we kept a lot of spare equipment. Come here and hands me a pair of binoculars. He points to a far corner of the parking lot and lo, and behold there's one of RVPs and his caddy banging one of the department heads. They were married, but not to each other. The rumors were already flying about those two. Anyway I ask him, wait a minute. Why do you have binoculars? There's always people effing in the parking lot. So yeah, assume you're always being watched. Maintenance guys especially are usually so low-key and people just kind of ignore them, but they know everything. Nature was calling, bad, so I stopped at a McDonald's in an unfamiliar neighborhood. I walk in and ask about the bathroom. Without any words, they point towards the bathroom. I enter the bathroom and am directly facing the side of the disability stall. On the missing bottom section of the stall, you can clearly see two men effing the shit out of each other, accompanied by their yells of pleasure and skin slapping. I nope the F out of there, but as I walk back down the hall to the bathroom, a huge security guard bumps into me and asks if I've seen two men, I point and say, they're in there effing. He shoves past me walks quickly to the bathroom. I run out of that McDonald's and have to settle for the gas station across the street. Corporate campus. 10 plus multi-story buildings. There was an unused storage room at the top floor of one of the buildings. My team had been periodically cleaning it out to use as a project staging area. Until one day we head up and find a couple on top of the desk, full on effing. Issue was the guy was engaged to another employee at the company. 
They did end up getting married, but he left the company shortly after the incident. Both women still work here. My friend asked me to drive him and his girlfriend around the hinterlands so he could F her in the back seat, as they apparently had no place else to go, and oh hell, I don't know the reason. We were in high school and it made sense at the time. Anyway, I was chauffeuring them around the remote country roads while they got progressively hotter and heavier in the back. I resisted looking in the rear view mirror because the interest I had in seeing his girlfriend sans clothing was more than offset by the lack of interest I had in seeing my dude that way. But after a few minutes, she mumbled, that's not it. A few seconds later, a little more assertively, that's not it, and then again and again, like five or six times. Finally, she sits up and just shouts at him, that's not it. He sticks his head into the front seat and in exasperation asks me, dude, do you want to try? All I can find is her asshole. I politely declined and the two of them got dressed and sat as far from one another as possible while I drove them back to the cake party from which we'd originally departed. She wisely broke up with him the next morning. As a teacher, I live in constant fear of finding my students doing something they definitely shouldn't be doing at school. I know some of my colleagues have found them in the middle of a blow dry or stuff like that, but thankfully it never happened to me. Closest thing that I've seen was once when I got into a classroom for my class, mind you, and in the corner of the room there were like four 13-year-old girls exchanging bras. I saw nothing, but definitely got scares, since, me being a male, getting into any situation like that could be a career ender for me or worse. I of course had a talk with them about hygiene later, but also added something else at the end. Do you guys want me to keep being your teacher? They were like, yes, of course. Then please stop doing stuff that could send me to prison. Thanks. Was in a casino in Vegas and was dragging my ass back to the room about 5 a.m. As I rounded the corner coming off the elevator, a naked woman was running down the hallway and yelled at me to hold the elevator. I held the door and watched her milkers bouncing down the hallway. She ran into the elevator and I asked her if she was all right. She said she was fine. It was at this time that I noticed she was holding some dude's wallet and a set of car keys and nothing else. Had apparently left her clothes in the room of the guy she was robbing. Door closed and where she went I have no clue. We were at church, there wasn't much people, that day only like 25 more or less. And the woman in front of us started to get undressed and took off her shirt and bra in the middle of the mass. She let the intrusive thought win. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Also check out our other videos and have an amazing day.